I'm Dr. Erica with Rosie Research. Let's take a look at the ASCII table and see what it really does. So the first part of our ASCII table is broken up into commands. So commands like backspace or if the shift is on or off or if you're done and it's the end of the transmission. That's actually the first 30 digits of our ASCII table. And then the next set is special characters because sometimes when we write stories, we want to be really excited with an exclamation point or we want to ponder something with a question or maybe we want to talk in quotes. So all of those special characters are the second part of our ASCII table. And then we come to, of course, probably the bulk of it, which is letters because we use all of our letters to create words. So we go through capital letters and lowercase letters and that takes up a big chunk of the available 255 spots in our ASCII table. So what about the last pieces? Those are what we consider the special characters. So things like Greek characters that are used in math a lot, or even characters that are used in other languages that have the same sorts of characters, like the E in French that is accented. Um, all of those types of characters are at the end of the ASCII table. And if you want to learn more about the history of ASCII tables or how to write in binary using an ASCII table, you can check out some of the other videos that we've created for you. Thanks for learning with us. This is Dr. Erica signing off.